Yo, YouTube, we are back with a sneaker collection reaction video. Now we got Benjamin <sighs> Kicks, Mr. Benjamin Kicks, Mr. Hype Beast himself, Mr. C the Celebrity Sneaker Connect. All right, he made a video. He said two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and thousand dollars. Get your words out, dumbass. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars sneaker collection. Now. One thing about sneakerheads that I want to say before we get this video started, if your sneaker collection is $250,000, you better have $250,000 in the fucking bank. And, and I know Benjamin, he definitely got well, way more than two hundred fifty. dollars but I'm just talking about all you other sneaker YouTubers. All you sneakers up, YouTubers out there, oh, I got a $100,000 uh, sneaker collection, I got $50,000 sneaker collection. I hope you got the same amount of, I hope you got even more money in the bank than you got in your fucking sneaker closet, you fucking dick, stupid motherfuckers. Sneakerheads are really stupid sometimes. Like, like I, I bet you sneakerheads really have more money in their collection than they have in their bank. Like, come on, come on. I love sneakers too, but I'll be damned if I have more money right here up here then i got my bank like come on use your fucking sense you stupid bitches i'm gonna walk you through two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of my personal collection let's get right into the video i'm gonna walk you guys through from your left to right this right here this is the kanye section i'm missing a couple pairs obviously the red solars tans zens whatever it is all right we gotta speed you up because you sound like this video might be a little boring you ain't got no personality all you got is money I mean, I'm not hating, but, you know, all, all you're doing is showing shoes. Like, you're not going to really, like, give us any personality. You're just going to show us shoes and whatever. So, we're going to speed you up. The Yeezy the whole wave made everyone a lot of money, so shout out to Kanye. This is somebody A's. Yeezy 2's. Obviously, everyone knows the mayhem that happened over these. Platinum's. Then got the OG pair. See, man. Drinks. Okay, yeah. Th these are fire shoes. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not hating at all. Trust me, I'm not hating. I wish I, I could have all these shoes. But it's just like sneaker YouTube is like it don't matter what you do or who you are. If you have the shoe, then you're cool. No, you're not. Where's your personality? Bring something to the table other than fucking shoes and spending money. You know what I'm saying? Like show your personality. Show who who you are. Who's who's the person behind shoe? Buying all the shoes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, these are hey, don't only get me wrong. I would, I would love to have these goddamn sneakers, but like watching him and like Benjamin kicks. I, I, I ain't got no hate towards you, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, what I'm saying because I'm, I'm watching you, right? Like this is honestly one of my favorite shoes. Here we go. Lance Robbins. This they got like the, color and the bright color. This is one pair that comes together like this. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's brand new. This is what happens if you wear them, skate whatever you do. Let me show you a pair brand new. This is a pair that they look like when they're brand new, never worn. That's of course. You got the red one. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's just boring. You know what I mean? Like, you just really sitting there, like, he's not telling any jokes. He's not being charismatic. He's not being, you know, he just like, you know, comp. I guess that's, I mean, I, I guess if that's your personality, you know what I'm saying? Be be true to yourself. But I'm just saying, like, I wish I had those goddamn shoes. I ain't gonna lie, though. God, God damn! And, like, one thing I respect about Benjamin, he actually wear his goddamn shoes. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's one thing I definitely respect about him is that he wears his fucking shoes. Like, he don't give a fuck. He wears his fucking shoes, and I, I salute you for that, my guy. I salute. Like, you can tell, like, none of those shoes is factory lace. None of those shoes is perfect condition. None of those shoes is just crispy white. You see they dirty. They've been ran through. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that. I respect him. I respect for him wearing his shoes more than what he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could say he's a true sneakerhead because he wears his fucking shoes. Unlike some of these corny ass niggas on YouTube, got all these fucking shoes and, and can't even squeeze your fat ass foot in a fucking shoe. He 
Ain't no fucking sneakerhead. You a sneaker vulture. You a culture vulture. How can you honestly say that you're a sneakerhead, but you don't wear your sneakers? No, you're a fucking... You're a bitch. All right, I'm done. For a lot of you guys that don't know about these, this is Nike SB Trellos. Obviously, after Travis Scott, all the hype started, these go for $2,250. Now they're going for upwards of 1000 bucks. Travis Effect, man. Travis Effect. These. One of my favorites. Still trying to find a double up in my size. Chocolates. Brand new. All the stuff out here is really brand new. So, I mean, real SB collectors know about it. This right here is the baby bears. Nice. Fresh. Nice. Super cool. I got a mama bear and a papa bear in my side just now coming in. I'm just able to pick these up. And honestly, as much as I want to keep these, I think these gotta go to G. This is a real BH customer story. Fred Smith, fitness instructor and podcaster, started a new business during the pandemic. Fred, tell us your story. I was a fitness instructor in Atlanta and I transferred to New York, March 13, 2020, right as the city went under lockdown. Oof, that's rough timing. All the studios shut down. But with BH's help, I started Workout with Fred. It's an online fitness platform with cycling classes and off the bike classes taught by me. Talk about lemons to lemonade. As I started looking for equipment, everybody I spoke to was pointing me to BH. I needed a camera, a lens, microphone, capture card card, audio interface. Whoa, Fred, we're running out of room here. <laughs> well, here's the thing. That setup is really complicated, and that's where B&H came in. I felt like every expert I spoke to had been in my shoes before, whether I was on the chat or I called. Anytime I had a question, they had a solution. I was like, ah, I wish I'd called you earlier. We're always here for you, Fred. Say, where do you film all this? Let me show you. My living room is essentially a recording studio. Everything in here, except for the couch and the TV, are laid out so that I can do my recording. Amazing. What's next for you, Fred? One of the things I've wanted to do for years was start a video podcast. So I started something called Join the Convo. We discuss important topics in a safe space. Fred, you're a real mensch. Thank you for sharing your B&H story with us. Whatever your creative aspirations, B&H is here to help. Call, email, chat, or come by anytime. Except Saturdays, of course. income business Fuck that your allows ass, nigga. you to be f now this this is one of my favorite shoes i just 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 recently picked up a pair of my size so let's see if we know what they are i don't even say i'll just leave it here comment below if you know what this one is back there we got some off-white ones igloos some unions regular stuff everybody's seen i want to i want to bring out something that probably a lot of you guys haven't seen yellow lobsters so this is exactly what i was thinking about it's one of my favorite shoes especially out of sbs and um i mean the shoe itself is just crazy it's like literally butter suede Inside, fucking fire. I mean, she was just insane. Whoa. Like I said, I think there's 36 fire, pairs of bro. Fire, anyone who has pairs of these, also fucking fire. Inside, it doesn't matter any condition. It's easy one blinks, of course. I'm sure everybody knows what these are brand new. Never tried on, never tested around. So, yeah, this is the easy one blink. This is my favorite one. I uh -huh. the easy one pack. My size was able to get a brand new pair. Snagged it as soon as I saw them. I think these came out in 08 or 09, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so you got the receipt from the original store and everything. This. This right here is super fire. Shout out to my boy Jeff State for sending me a pair of these. Legend, legend of the game. Better than skateboarding like the SP thing. For way too long. So, this box, I'm pretty sure this is like a friends and family pair, if I'm not mistaken. But um, for those of you who don't know, he made the NYC pigeons. He had the purple pigeons. NYC pigeons are obviously a grail of most SB collectors. Now he made these. Hand to colorway. Check out the insole. This, that's a sample, not for resale inside. Lace back, everything attached. I ended up buying another pair just now, just so I can wear. I'm gonna keep these on ice. Super dope. Check out the packaging. Wooden box, everything. Comes with all the accessories. Super, super, super fire, fire, bro. Fire, fire, bro. I mean, fire. Shit, fucking fire. This right here, gold box error. Maybe some of you guys can guess this. Maybe you can't. Super grail of mine. Super grail of a lot of SB collectors. What the? Just kidding. What the dunk SBs? Sheesh! So, like I mentioned earlier, pigeons. This is basically an SB sneaker that has a bunch of other sneakers incorporated. Whether it's the pigeons, the bucks. Sheesh! It's got the Tiffany in there. I've been trying to collect a lot of these. This is the Dornbecker edition. I'm trying to get the whole full Dornbecker set, the full Vin set. These are Dornbecker threes. Eh. This All red, obviously. Eh. This right here. I'm good Not on those. Reason. Red and black. Check it out. I had those. No. I had those. I had those. I sold them. I sold them. Wow, can we get to this? Not for real. Again. Except this is the yellow one. Eh. No photos. Other side. I'm messing with the yellow one more. Let me know what you 
I'm sure everyone knows what this is. About to call the bomb. Travis Scott. 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 All these things are No packaging. No box all around. No shoes. Like I was saying earlier again, fragment. Lucky enough to triple up on this. Damn, like triple up, shout it? Triple up, shout it. God damn. Crazy, I actually don't have a pair that I wear yet. But um, I'm definitely looking the solar I mean eight, not the so solar but the so fly. I don't know why they make a box for a size 14 and a size 8 but hey I'm not mad at it. a lot of you guys obviously you guys already know this is obviously so let's just get right into it the 10 Jordan 1 off white sheesh DS shout it basically on almost I want to say almost the whole off white set but Damn. Uh, these are the main ones nice black black blood no secret buckles on the jacket it's a leech shit Okay, that that was it. Now I see why he wears his shoes because he pretty much double up on everything. He stock one and he rock one. So uh, yeah, there we go, man. S salute to Benjamin Budget. Like I said, it's 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 no shots at him or nothing like that. But you know, if you're a YouTube, if you're a content creator, just you know, show more personality. Sure, you know, give give more at, at you know, just just give more entertainment value when you're doing your you know, what I mean, sneaker videos than just hey, these are the shoes. Hey, look at this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just what I look for when I watch people. Like, do you give me something other than what I'm looking at? Like, who's the person behind buying all the shoes? You know what I'm saying? That's just my little, you know, two cents. But anyway, salute to Budge Benjamin Kicks. Uh, crazy fucking collection. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, man, that's about it. So, y'all leave a comment down below. And y'all subscribe to the channel if you are new. We do reactions like this every single day. I got another one coming up. Subscribe to your boy if you're new. I'm out.